Okay guys, now that we've pretty much gotten everything installed, we've gone ahead and completed our uh, cable ties, we've even gone ahead and affixed uh, one of the actual uh, side panels uh, for the chassis in place. But we don't want to go ahead and completely button everything up. It's very important that uh, before you actually button everything up, you do want to do a full post and verify that everything's working. Uh, even to an extent that I would probably say they don't even put on the side panel that we've gone ahead and put on in place. You might want to have easy access to not only the SEER the ATA data cables and the power cables, but overall just having immediate access to be able to see that there's not something loose uh, or there's not something that might need an adjustment. So at this point, we're essentially just going to be doing a test fire of the system and confirm that everything's working. Now, uh, we didn't cover it in this video. If you really want to be super safe, uh, it generally would be recommended that if you want to do a basic post test, essentially go ahead and install the CPU in the motherboard, go ahead and put on your CPU cooler, put in the memory, and essentially test everything outside of the box first and see if the system responds. This will, of course, save you a lot of headache uh, afterwards if there ends up being maybe a component that's been damaged or compromised during the installation process, at least helping you to know that originally everything was working. So with here, let's go ahead and uh, press the power button. So right off the bat, we can see we've got a great sign. Everything's coming on. Of course, uh, we've got these uh, Bit Phoenix Spectre Pro LED fans. Go ahead and all of them have lit up, which is a nice uh, confirmation. Let us know that they're all connected. Uh, the CPU fan is spinning from our Noctua low profile CPU cooler. I can tell that the fan is also spinning on the DC Mini. And we can see there the postcode information. And we can already see that the operating system is booting in place. So overall, we've got a successful system. So with that, let's go ahead and wrap things up for you guys. All right, guys, so we've pretty much uh, gone through an entire PC build configuration for you, covering everything from what components to consider, um, how to actually work with them, how to install them, and some tips and tricks to bring that all together to tie in how do you actually build a Z87 based system. So hopefully you guys, you found this informative, you found it interesting, and as always, I'd love to hear your guys' feedback uh, in any number of different respects, uh, whether you want to see more of these types of videos, different types of options, or whatever it might be, feel free to drop them here on the YouTube page or you can go ahead and send it to the YouTube inbox. I'll do my best to go ahead and get back to you when I can. In addition, feel free to go ahead and hit us up on our North American Facebook and uh, Facebook pages as well as our North American Twitter pages. And as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure and subscribe and please thumbs up and like the video. So as always, thank you for watching.